Hello, my witchlets, and welcome to another episode of Kitchen Witchery and Other Spells. Today, we are going to make a holiday favorite. And normally, it's reserved more for the Yule celebration and such, so I know we're hitting this early, but that's because I've seen it in stores already, and uh, you just need to have your own, your own way of making it for yourself at home. We are gonna make eggnog. And I'm gonna tell you right now that the recipe that I'm using is a low carb recipe. Notice I said low carb, not low cal. Um, that would be impossible. So what we're gonna do here is there's two different ways that you can make this. Um, I have this set up to give to a friend of mine who very much loves eggnog. Um, this will last for three days in the refrigerator. I suspect it won't make it to her refrigerator. So um, she'll just drink it all. This is not spiked eggnog, okay? This is just eggnog. You can add booze to it if you want to. If you do, drink responsibly. I am not responsible for your life's choices. So what we're gonna do is it's, it calls for two cups of unsweetened almond milk. So we're gonna start with that. Um, you will need five egg yolks, just the yolks, um, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, a full teaspoon of nutmeg, and then you are going to need a cup of either heavy whipping cream or coconut milk. And you will need a cup of your sweetener of choice. Since this is designed to be a keto recipe, I would use something like this here is a Truvia blend that is made with cane sugar and erythritol and uh, stevia. So um, I wouldn't use anything, I wouldn't use like straight cane sugar though because the other sweeteners tend to be sweeter than sugar and um, you would probably end up needing way more sugar to make it as sweet as what this is gonna be. Uh, when I make it for myself, I'm just gonna use Swerve because I like Swerve. Um, it's just, this is expensive. I can only get it in one store in my area and I go through it really fast. So that said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get started because obviously we have to mix things on the stove because that's how this works. This is going to be more like a custardy kind of a, of an eggnog. So it'll be nice, thick and creamy. And, um, to do that, you will need to temper eggs. I'm not fancy. I don't usually temper my eggs. So you get to watch me show you how to temper eggs. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to add our erythritol sugar blend stuff here to our eggs and whisk that all together. My batter bowl keeps moving around here. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside for the moment. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to turn this burner on high. And to this, I'm going to add my almond milk. my coconut milk or heavy cream. And my spices. And then we are going to bring this to Bring this mixture, we're gonna whisk it first to mix everything together. And we're gonna bring this mixture to the boil, which will take a little bit of time because it's very cold. So once I get this boiling and such, we'll come back and we'll show you how to temper the eggs and how to go about finishing your egg dog. Oh, okay. It must be dark because the light is on and it threw me off. So uh, 
now is the time to begin tempering and uh, to be honest it would be helpful if cameraman Ken were able to uh, lend a hand but you're going to very slowly add in the liquid and you're going to whisk constantly so that the heat doesn't cause the eggs to set because that's the last thing you want is an omelet for your eggnog. Thank you. Look at those beautiful hands. Yeah, Aren't they yeah, great? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start adding more. Please. It's the only way this gets done. I know. I'm just letting you know. So you're supposed to add approximately half of your almond and um, cream or coconut mixture to your eggs and you whisk constantly, like I said. Um, I think one more mm -hmm. should be Right, one more ladle full here. Yeah. Okay, ready? Mm. Teamwork. So this goes back on heat and this mixture gets poured into here. Uh, there we go. And uh, this gets whisked vigor vigorously for six to eight minutes until the um, make sure it reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll come back in a few minutes to show you the outcome of this particular thing. And there's one more ingredient that we have to add, but we'll do that in a moment. Okay, so we've got everything here mixed together. I didn't grab my vanilla extract, but um, and I need the teaspoon measurer. Alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna strain this into, back into this, um, because with the magic of film, it appeared back in my batter bowl. So you're just, you're not straining it for any reason other than to make sure you got all the egg bits out and it's gonna remove the large chunks of um, spice as well. Um, I can see that it's kind of chunking up here. But basically, now we wait for it to finish straining before adding more. Um, but you're going to do this until it is, it is done. And then you're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and stir that together and then put it into your bottles. So we'll be back in just a few moments. Hey, we survived. Um, so just as a side note, I'm really bad with numbers and I showed you a container that had three quarters of a cup of Truvia blend in it. And that was more by a lot than what you need. You only need a third of a cup of your sweetener. Uh, but. That's okay, because the people who that was going to were very, very pleased and very excited that it was much sweeter than what it was supposed to be, but that's okay. Um, so this batch is made with the heavy cream and uh, clearly less sweetener than 
uh, than the first batch. So let's go ahead. You'd want to let this cool at least two to three hours before you actually drink it, but I'm just going to go ahead and give a little taste here. That is definitely rich and creamy. It's very, very good. Um, I think I might actually prefer eggnog warm. That's like the first time I've actually really enjoyed it. So uh, add three quarters of a cup of bourbon, whiskey, spiced rum, your alcohol of flavor, choice, whatever, um, if you would like to your eggnog, to this entire batch of eggnog. This will last three days in the refrigerator. Um, if you particularly like eggnog, it may not last you a night. So um, that's pretty much it. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, smash the dislike button. Leave me a comment either way. I would love to hear from you. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out my Patreon, www.patreon.com slash kwos, where there will be some other fun videos that involve alcohol for your viewing pleasure. We'll see you next time.